All right, welcome back. I have something pretty cool to show you today. Pretty cool. It's kind of my new, it's my new thing. It's a new way to teach that I found that works so well. And so there's three steps to it. The first step is review the materials, go over the materials to your kids, read them, whatever it is, math, science, any topic at all. The second thing is for you to sit down by yourself and come up with a few questions on each topic and each subject for each child. Really, I'm telling you, it took like maybe five minutes. It doesn't take long once you see how I do it. And the third is um, to have them stand at one side. I'll show you. I'm gonna show you in a minute. It's very cool to teach that way. First, I wanna show you just a couple products today because I'm gonna show you inside two different science kits. So I had a third, the best kit, so I ordered several different science programs and I ordered the kits that came with them because I wanted to choose what I consider the best science program for my children. Didn't matter whether it was secular, didn't matter it was Christian, I ordered as many as I could. The best program organization of components was moving beyond the page. They had them, I wish I still had the box to show you, but I went through and I was using some of them. They had it labeled on the box when you open it, week one, these are the materials. They had it labeled individual bags, week one, week two. And then within there, even more labels. So it was like so organized and ready to go. The supplies that go along with the experiments. That's what I'm talking about in case you, in case I didn't mention that a second ago. So take a look inside. These are two very different, very big programs. So this is Sunlight, Bookshark Sunlight, same company. So your box, would look the same. It doesn't, there's not even a differential. I mean, the box looked the same. So you're gonna open it up and you're gonna experience a hot mess. And the thing to notice is A, how would you find these components by yourself? So always order the box. I think it's 75 bucks or $73. And this is the grade one. And it had, it's just got a whole bunch of stuff all mixed in together. That's not even labeled. Like, I don't even know what that is. So I'm just a little critical of it. Just a little critical. Um, this came crushed, this little ball, but maybe I don't need it not crushed. I don't know. So it just has some, yeah, like if you didn't order this, I don't know how you do, like how would you find these? But it's got your cups that you need and your styrofoam ball. It's got a few crayons. Has a, a, a little wheel. Again, I don't know how you'd find that at a store, but I don't know. How would you know what size? And I'm just showing you what comes in the grade one bin. So then you got some straws. You got, oh, a glow stick. You have a kebab stick and uh, yeah, these are straw material. Um, a little bit thicker than straws, but still straws would suffice. And another little one of these doohickeys that I wouldn't even know what to name if you did not get the parts. How would you locate that? But okay. Are you gonna say please like and subscribe? Oh, come on, say it like a normal person. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Now what can we do for you, sir? Okay, oh, I forgot to show you this book, but I'll show you that book after. Okay, so this is the sunlight box. This is what you're getting. You're opening up, it's a paper plate. There's some other stuff. To be honest, I don't really feel like digging through. I'm kind of scared what I'm gonna find. I know it sounds ridiculous, but I am. Ooh, I think that's a coffee thingy. Feels like a coffee thing. All right, so that's the box you get, okay? That's the first time, I believe that's like the first time I opened it. So it's not like I went in and really messed it up. This came in this package, okay? So this is Noeo Science. Just for a comparison, this is Noeo Science. This is the physics one. For $200, and I will put the video, I tried to download it so I could show you a clip through here. It didn't work last time, but I'll try again. But if not, I'll attach the video at the end because for 200 bucks, you open it up, it's grades one through three of science, physical science. You can get physics, you can get biology. I think they have chemistry. So now once you take that off, this is what you have. Kit number one, physics one, kit number one, week two, week three, and it tells you exactly what you're gonna be using that week. And there they are. Oh, look at the cute little rubber balls. It's got the cute little car. So very clean, nothing broken, nothing dented. They packaged it very carefully. And again, it looks like even in there, this is just a, a sheet of paper, but it has the list as well. Let's see if we can move this over, do, do, do. Physics week one, see it tells you again and again, which I like. So there's no trying to figure it out. The science curriculum that I'm going to go with to use, and there's week two. The science curriculum that I've chosen to go, now I wouldn't even blame them for those cups being dented only because I've moved so many times and I've taken it, I took it out of the box that it came in. So once you take it out of the box that comes in, that's on you, my friend, I think if it breaks. All right, so do you get it, kit two, get, kit three and then kit four right so it's got like 36 weeks of science stuff for you to do 
Um, but anyway, there you go. And it, it comes with this, which is, hi, welcome to your science. You open it up, it's got all the books. It's got a bunch of stuff. I mean, so is Sunlight. Sunlight has all the books too, but theirs is less confusing. Sunlight to me is a hot mess. But again, people love Sunlight. They love Sunlight. And I love Sunlight's other programs, Bookshark's other programs. I, I really do enjoy them and like them. Just not the science. I think the science needs a lot of work. Now, back to, oh, so the science program I eventually went with, the experiments are so easy, and so they're so, like, homeschool friendly, home, like, home, yeah, homeschool friendly, I don't know what else to, to call it, that they're still interesting, they may not be as brilliant as these, but they're still interesting enough, and yet you're not searching for tons of supplies, like, it gets the point across without trying to... Um, you know, go overboard with excitement, if you will, which, hey, I appreciate that. Okay, so in what I'm going to show you, one of the things we did is, is us four and lift the flap questions and answers about your body. This is one of the things, because here's the segment of what did we do today. So this is a great book. When? When did baby, so I read through it and I go, who wants to hear what? When did babies learn to walk? When will I be as tall as you? When did we learn to talk? Then it's where, where's my food go when I swallow? Where's my drink go? Okay, and then it goes on, where's my heart? How, how does medicine make you better? And what I like about this is it says, some medicines stop you from feeling pain while your body itself does the healing. I really appreciate that. In some, I know my hands are all dirty. I don't know even know what I was doing. Probably pulling boxes out to try and find this stuff. <laughs> to find those kits today. Okay, why do I smell things? All right, so it goes on, why? Why do people wear glasses? Why do I look pale when I'm ill? Why do I need to breathe? And so it's very interesting. Why is my blood red? So lots of interesting information from here. Who, who's the fastest person? Who needs the most sleep? Who's the oldest person ever? So it's, it's just, I think it's a great book. Question and answers about your body. The over 60 flaps. I would not buy it used. Never buy it used because when you buy flap books used, you're really rolling the dice. So what I'm about to show you is, so I read the solid, liquid, and gas, which I don't think we tested on today, but I read the molecules, okay? So the molecule rules, reading this. So atoms can link together to make molecules, okay? Some are small, some are larger, da da da, whatever. So I think when I was doing this, cause I was going, I was discussing it today. So you teach, you teach what you teach that day, you teach what you, and then, you go over the main points again before this little setup. You go before what I'm going to show you. You go over the main points again with everybody. Then you go over the main points of yesterday, of whatever it is. Say you were discussing atoms. I'm sure you can find, like we learned solid liquids and gases, stuff I'm not proficient in, in by any means. And I learned that the level of energy something has, like for example, ice has very low energy, whereas vapor has the most energy out of the three states. So just some exciting stuff that I did, I was not aware of. Anyway, another thing you can use is you can use this. Take a look at this. This is uh, questions. So questions and there's the answers. So like spell the word that means the opposite of yes. All right, so that would be no, N-O. How many days are in a weekend? Okay, too. So it's kind of based on that, but it's good because they A, love it. They get excited about it. B, we're doing a review. C, it's almost like an examination of sorts, but without the component of writing and sitting down and all that pressure, especially because handwriting is not their strength for various reasons. Now, what you'll see when I'm showing you this is that my children are really great in some subjects, like a lot of children and other subjects, and that's okay because you that's just the way kids are and some kids with neurodivergence or some kids just for any reason are really great in some subjects and not in others and that's okay some of the questions i choose to ask are ones that i know they know the answer to to help build some self-esteem there and some of the questions are kind of new and i'm testing the waters to see how they do but you can tell clearly which questions i ask that are their strength and which are not that's a common thing every time we do this, which I, I, we usually do it a few times a week. And then sometimes if it's like, okay, it's a Sunday, so no, I don't feel like doing any schooling or whatever, 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 whatever the day is, whatever the reason, then I'll pull it out and be like, all right, let's do this. Because off the top of my head, I can come up with some some questions. Have you seen? Because I've done it before with my other child. My child, this is brilliant for ADHD children, I'm telling you, because they do not have to sit still. 
And uh, yeah, so take a look at it. Now, understand too that when I am doing this, I am not, to get to yes, or to get to the answer, I'm not gonna be like, no. I generally don't say that. I say, oh, keep going. Oh my gosh, we're almost there. We're so close. As if A, we're on a team, and B, and um, B, like I'm helping them, like I want them also to get the answer, okay? So we're on a team, and C, do, which I don't know why ABC, but do not pair them against each other. It's not a contest against each other. It has nothing to do with each other. Everybody makes it to the end of the line. It's, that's it. There's, it's not a contest. Just because you, you wanna create some sibling rivalry, huh, have kids of the same gender, close in age, compete against each other on a daily basis. Yeah, that that's gonna, that's really calming for your household. So I don't do that. That's not a game we play. And if they were to take it into that, I would do one kid at a time. Then, all right, go do something in your room and I'll call you out when it's your turn. And then I would have fun with that kid or whatever. So you could also do it too, putting down different construction paper all over the house and have them hop one to the other to the other. I also am very flexible with certain things. So if he's like, you know what, I'm waiting, I'm gonna wait and do three jumps at once. Yeah, cool. I don't care if you wait to do 50 jumps. You keep answering questions. You can do whatever you want as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so there you go. Take a look at it and see what you think. And that is your video for today. Au revoir, à bientôt. Okay, Finnegan, what is one plus one plus two? What? What is one plus one plus two? Kind of a hard one. Four? Yep. Get to take a step. Lachlan. Five. Wait, Lachlan, what is seven times two? Thirteen. And a double lucky because they're two feathers. That's right. Double lucky. All right, take a step. Okay, Finnegan, can you spell the first four letters of your name? F. Yep. I. Yes. N. N. Yes! La, what are two things plants need to survive? Two things. Just name two out of the list. Let go. I'm a human. And if a human plant one. That is true. If a human plant one, they need human skies. <laughs> Come on, stop touching Animals each other. Animals need water. Oh. They do oh. need water. Oh. Okay. Ugh. Finnegan, what? Okay, Finnegan, your turn. What does annihilate mean? A fraud, this, obliterated. Yeah, that's right. Annihilated moth. Lachlan, if an atom has two linking <laughs> electrons, how many bonds bond, can it form? Two bonds? Yeah. Okay, Finnegan, what makes up molecules? <laughs> what makes up molecules? I got a couple more questions. <laughs> Okay, Finnegan and Lockley. Okay, what makes up molecules? Atoms. Atoms? Yes. Okay, back there. Couple more questions. Watch! Come no. back! Okay. Lachlan. Seven times two plus one. Fifteen, a matter of a time. Yes. 15. All right, Finn, what's the difference between a rule and a law? Do you know the difference between a rule and a law? A law is, is since you have to not do anybody. That's right. And the next have to not do. That's right. And everybody. A rule is, is like a, only like a family or like business have rules. That's right. A business or a family has rules, but the, everyone has to obey the laws. Okay. Great job. All right, Lock, last question. Lock, what letter makes the mmm sound as in ma? Yeah. Oh, he did it! <laughs> All right, you guys are done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Question number one. Every time you get a question right, you get to take a step forward, sir. Let me ask you. Okay, here we go. How many different colors in the rainbow? Seven! <laughs> If you take all the colors in the rainbow and you take away two, how many we got left? Five! All right, take a jump. You're moving too many spots. <laughs> okay, what is the, this one's a tough one. What comes after fall? What season comes after fall? Fall. Fall. That's when the leaves fall to the ground. What comes after that? Fall. What? I would think. 
Not summer because it gets colder. It gets colder and the leaves start to fall to the ground. So what comes next? Winter. That's right! Okay, now, name the life cycle of a human. We got a baby, a cat, an adult, a yes. donut. Or oh. an adult, yeah. And a teenager. You think so? Okay, so we got, so it goes baby, child, and you think teenager, then grown up? So it starts off as. No, I know that does it. Okay, don't you? Uh huh. A cat, and what is that? Okay, a chrysalis, right? So a caterpillar. Yeah, what, what on the other side is that? Huh? A caterpillar. Okay, so a caterpillar and then what? Um, and then, I don't know the name of it, but I do a talk with a bell. That's right, the chrysalis, right? And Where it's in like a shell? A butterfly! And then a butterfly! Please wait to the five. Yes. And, and hit the bell for notifications.